When you're out in the woods, nature provides some amazing gifts. But it's when summer draws to a close that it's time to bring in the real jewels of the forest, the nuts and the berries. So today I'll show you how to gather perfect autumn bannock bread with rosehip tea. Now these are one of the best rosehips. Bright orange, sweet tasting and packed full of vitamin C, which helps to prevent winter colds. But of course, like all things in nature, you've got to know what to do with them. Inside the rose hip are lots of seeds covered in hairs, which will irritate the gut. So what we do is we cut the top off the rose hip and then cut them through so that we can get rid of these seeds inside. You see them there. Now, children have used these for centuries as itching powder, shoving them down each other's backs. We've got to get rid of all of these little irritant hairs and that's ready to eat. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, that's good. When we're looking through the forest for fruit, we've got to even look on the ground. If you look here, you see all these apples on the forest floor itself. A really good sign. Crab apples are a wonderful food. And the traditional way to gather them was to lay a blanket out under the tree and then just shake it. I should stand back if I were you. Like this. And it rains. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Crab apples. <laughs> These are a bit tart when you bite into them. If you eat too many, they'd upset you. But cooked, they're going to be absolutely superb. Oh, this is great. Down here in amongst these beech leaves, we've got beech mast. Normally, when you break these open, there's nothing inside them. But we're in luck. This is the humble beech nut. Quite delicious. Now, yeah, weight for weight, there's more protein in beech nuts than there is in beef. But they're delicious, even raw. Oh, they're wonderful. I'm going to gather some of those to cook a little bit later on. But if the sweet chestnut with the sore tooth edge to its leaf, that's my favourite. We mustn't confuse this with the conker, which is poisonous. This one has a much more spiny case, like that. In fact, it's difficult to hold. And inside there is this little gem, the sweet chestnut, just like you get sold on the streets. What we do is we take the case off of this and we scrape the outside to end up with this beautiful nut, like that. It's delicious raw, even better cooked, though. Oh, yes. So to make the autumn bannock, stir one teaspoon of salt into two handfuls of flour and one of milk powder. Add one of sugar and water to mix. Pop in the fruit and grease a new pan. Now this is the pumper. Spinning it round like this, thin it out in the centre, spread it evenly in the pan. It takes about 20 minutes to cook. Wow, looks absolutely great. All we have to do now is stick some of our beech nuts in the top and brown it off by the fire. To make rosehip tea, I just pour hot water over my rosehips and then I leave it to steep for a few minutes before drinking the liquid. And the good thing is, you can eat the rose hips afterwards and they taste even better. Well, that's the perfect accompaniment for my bannock. <laughs>